The crackdown on child marriages in Assam continues and over 3,000 people in this regard has been arrested. However, what has come into light after the investigation of CNN News 18 is that a lot of minor girls and also young girls are now being trafficked by various traffickers. And the basic reason, uh, the basic way they do this trafficking is uh, by stating them, by pro promising them a marriage sometimes, on other times it's the parents who sell them out to the traffickers. Sometimes it's the parents who hope that uh, the girl will be getting a job somewhere where these traffickers will take them. So there are various ways through which the traffickers uh, try to traffic these minors and young girls, sometimes within the state and sometimes outside the state into some different state. So this is what our investigation reveals. Child traffickers prey on the weak and vulnerable. They persuade young girls from poor backgrounds to get married in order to survive or convince their helpless parents to sell their daughters and make some money. We visited a rehabilitation centre and spoke to the victims of this cruel racket. We are from a very poor family. My mother eloped with someone when I was eight years old. It was getting difficult for my father to keep the family going. One day, when I was ten years old, a man came to our house, gave some money to my father and took me away. I didn't know where I was being taken. The man physically tortured me so much that I ran from the place. Later, some kind people brought me to this rehabilitation center. Father once came in 2021 and promised to take me home, but he never came back after that. I met Anovar on Facebook four years ago. The financial condition of my family was not good. He asked me to get married to him and took me to Mumbai. Initially, we lived together and he took care of me. Then, he started complaining about lack of money. One day, he took me to the red light district and left me in a brothel. Later, I found out that he was luring many other girls like me. A 16-year-old was given away by her brother-in-law to a man who promised to marry her and then abused her and left her on the streets. He told me he was a divorcee, but I was not accepting his proposal. He later saw me at a wedding and told my brother-in-law that he wanted to marry me. One day, I went to his house and he didn't let me enter. He raped me and filmed the act. Before this man, I was being sexually harassed by my brother-in-law as well. Another young girl who was being forced to marry a man in Haryana was recently rescued by the Assam police. When I spoke to her, then I came to know that she was like been uh, taken by a neighbor. neighbor. Uh, one neighbor told her that you can go, I will take uh, you to Delhi and there you have to work for some marriage in ceremony is there. For 10 days you, you will be paid 10,000 rupees. So you just have to go for 10 days. Uh, when she went there, then she came to know she was uh, sent there for like she need to get married to somebody. She was getting married to somebody. She was shocked because it was against her will. She was already married and she had two child. She refused to it, but they forcefully married her to a 62 years or I can't tell her age, exact age, but uh, a aged person. Yeah, very elderly, aged person. After that, uh, she tried to run away f from that house, but uh, she was kept under lo uh, lock and key She was not able to run away. So yesterday, she got the chance and she ran away. Yeah. We have seen in uh, Assam, uh, there are girls from rural areas, uh, they are being targeted. Uh, they are being targeted by promising a job or either uh, with the promise of marrying that uh, girl and ultimately uh, they fall into the hands of these traffickers. Uh, we have had instances uh, recently, I was informed uh, by, uh, from like I had information from CID that uh, two minor girls were uh, trafficked to Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, there are also instances that have been, uh, have come to our notice where minor girls have been taken to Haryana. Uh, where the where the girl child is quite in demand, Haryana, then uh, Delhi, NCR region. Also, uh, we have ha information where there are 
placement agencies who are actually uh, taking girls uh, you know from assam and engaging them in domestic work uh, they are even sending money to the families and uh, when the money stops coming is when the family starts getting uh, worried and that's when they go to the police so haryana um, uh, jammu and kashmir we have also have in- had instances where uh, down south in tamil nadu child trafficking and child marriages in assam have seen a similar modus operandi many minor minor girls are trafficked uh, generally the girls are trafficked to outside assam but within assam also in some districts this has been happening but the trend is the girls are minor girls are taken outside assam and many of the girls are used as domestic help outside assam and also uh, for in other they are used in other trades like uh, prostitution or begging also is one of the reasons for trafficking so there are many and the, now the another trend we have seen is uh, uh, marriage mm, by means of marriage the girls are trafficked a lot of minor girls and women who are still being trafficked every day however there are a lot of uh, children a lot of minors and young people who are yet to be rescued this is priti priyadarshini reporting from gohati assam